I will show you how to make a field in the blank line in Google Docs. So to do this, firstly, what you have to do is just to come where you want to make the field. As you can see, I want to make the field right here. What you have to do is just to come right here. Click on, click on Insert. Then when done with that, scroll down to where we have Drawings. Then click on New to continue. So when it has finished loading, the next thing for you to do is just to click on this text box icon right here. So when done, the next thing for you is just to drag your text box. As you can see, drag your text box. Since it depends on how you want it. So when done, you can then enter the text which you want to impute right there. Let me just use this one, which is. So when done, the next thing for you to do is just to click on save and close. So right now, as you can see, here is what I just typed right here, but it's breaking on this line. The next thing for you is just to click on it on it. Then when done, click on in front of text. So right now, as you can see, here is it. Then you can then move it up or move it to anywhere which you want to move it to. So you can see right now, this one is set right there. So when done, let's want to have another one below it, which is this one where we have account number. What you have to do is to click on the one, the recent one which you have done. Then you can then right click on it and click on copy. So when done, you can then move to the next one. Let's want it to be right here. Then you right click on it. Then you click on paste. So let's just give it time for it to load. So when you finish loading, you can then click. Then you move it up also. As you can see, just move it to anywhere which you want it to. Then you can then edit this test. Edit the test right here by clicking on it, on it, then click on edit right here. Then you can add any test of your choice. Let's just add a test. As you can see. So when you click on save and close to continue. So right now, as you can see, it has been set. So if you want to do the third one also, you can just do the same thing by copy and paste, then you do the editing. So that was all to do this. Hope this video helped. Please give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you in the next video.